Welcome back everyone, this is FyGuy448, and you're watching yet another episode of FTB Vanilla Plus. Um, I've been busy at work off camera, just setting up a few things for down the road. I uh, went ahead and, uh, let me just give you a little tour. Went ahead and rearranged all the farms. Uh, that way we've got uh, potatoes and wheat and carrots, just just your basic crops. Uh, basically, I wanted to make sure those were all grouped together. Um, haven't checked out some of these buildings yet. I was too excited the last uh, episode, which uh, ended up running way over, so uh, we'll see what I do with that. I haven't edited anything yet. Uh, likely, I probably split it into two parts. So, um, if I did so, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, did get a little overly excited about finding this place and the other village. Uh, the other village is really surprising, but uh, anyway. I uh, also set up a tree farm over here, and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of trees that have grown. Uh, I've got acacia over here, I've got eucalyptus here, uh, I've got these sakura over here, your wheat, your birch, uh, basically a whole bunch. Uh, kind of threw them in all over the place. I probably need to lay down some torches. As, uh, we do have some uh, cave openings here and there and I do want to make sure... Wow, okay. I made a mess of that, didn't I? Yep, sure did. Whoa, there we go. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. Uh Yeah, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. You cannot be burning down my trees. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, well, hold on. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, no, no. You must go too now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is so not good. Why, 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 why? Yes, I know I'm hungry, and I know I'm hurt, but I've got to kill these trees to make sure that none of this spreads. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go down here and block you. Ah, ah, ah. And we're not doing that again. Ah, I guess there's water right over there. I guess I should have, uh, Probably ducked in and done something about that. Let's get this guy out of here. We're gonna eat a little bit of food. But anyway, before we are so rudely interrupted by uh, Mr. Firestarter there, uh uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to deal with you. You're gonna drive me nuts. Let's, uh, oh, good. Stop, stop, stop. Alright, go down here real quick and, oh no, no, what do we have here? Okay, good, you two fight it out. Okay, anyway, moving on. What we are going to do today is we are actually going to start our mine. Uh, let me throw these back in the chest. Oh, I also uh, started a little sugarcane farm over there too. Uh, down the road, we are going to need enchantments and, oh gosh, those creepers. Mm. Anyway, deal with you guys later. As long as you stay over there, you're all right in my book. But what we're going to do is obviously we're going to need a lot of materials before we start actually building and modifying some of these buildings. Um, I haven't really looked yet as far as what I want to do as far as designs, but um, what I'm thinking is maybe I need to look for a good place to dig in. Um, I want to set a large house up on that hill. And... I'm thinking that we can set a mine underneath it and once we're mining all the resources out we can turn it into like a big 
I guess underground uh, bunker of sorts. I'm just trying to see how far back this goes. Okay, we're good. We got plenty of space. Um, yeah, that goes back a pretty significant distance. So what we are going to go ahead and do is we are going to come over here and we're going to dig in. And maybe we will set it up as kind of a fancy schmancy mine and then as we develop our big house on the hill maybe we'll cover it up but uh, right now I'm thinking that this would be a good place to kind of set it up so what I'm going to do is I am going to set up some chests outside of here And we are just going to collect as much as possible. Ah, get out of the way, sheep. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a chest there, chest there. And let's take another row out of here. And another one there. And another, well, that'll work. All right, let's get dug in here. Uh, initially, don't really need it to be centered. All right, you gotta get it. Go, 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 go. Cheap. Okay, this food situation is going to have to be dealt with in the near future. But for right now, actually, don't have any wood. Let's uh, let's go get a shovel real quick. Get out of the way. If we have any significant dirt to dig, I am definitely not going to want to sit there and do this by hand, and I know you guys are not going to want to see that. So we will go ahead and get a piece of iron. So we're going to do a shovel. We might as well do it right. All right. Uh, hold on just a second, guys. I've got to uh, take care of something real quick. Okay, back guys, sorry about that. Alright, now we've got our shovel. So we can dig in here. And we're just going to clear out some of this. thinking that maybe we kind of make a fancy entrance here at some point. Um, get together some different wood options and kind of go from there. But uh, for the time being, I don't know why it's so dark over here. But uh, we're just going to kind of dig straight down here and uh, hopefully we run into a cave. And hopefully this is not all gravel. So it's going to be slightly disappointing. Okay, there we go. Maybe not. All right. We're just going to go ahead and start stair stepping. Maybe we'll come up with a cool little entrance. So have like a staging area up here. Um, you know what? Let's go sleep real quick. 
Yeah, I know, I know. We're all just running back and forth. Should have planned this out better, Fi Guy. I know, I know. Like I said, we'll get there. But uh, we'll go ahead and sleep real quick. Then we'll run back over there and get to work. All right. Hopefully we will get lucky. And the only reason I ran back to sleep is because I've got all those. Oh, really? All right, glowstone. I'll just hang on to you. Where did we end up going in? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Seriously. What did I just do? Oh my gosh, I ran to the wrong hill. Okay. Bet you that's exactly what I did. Yeah, sure enough. Wow. Yeah, you can tell it's been a long day. So, anyways, back to work we go. All right. Um, let's keep this as kind of a room, and then we'll just start kind of digging down from here. And then we'll fancy all this up later. But for right now, I just want to see what, we're, what we've got. Um, my purpose here is to keep as much of this material as possible so uh, we are going to need it long term so we're just gonna throw some torches up as we go and when our inventory gets full we are going to head back up to the surface and dump it in those chests but for now uh, we're just gonna dig down and maybe we'll get lucky I know there's some caves nearby um, but Traveling through caves is not really gathering the resources we need, so for now we're just going to kind of dig, and I hope you guys don't mind, but uh, this is uh, how we're going to roll for just a time being. Maybe we'll get lucky. So the Olympics have recently ended. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I really didn't watch any of it. I don't know, anti-American, all that. But I did cut the cord uh, as far as cable a while back. And I never got an antenna for local TV. So a lot of the events that were on, you know, the MSNBC and all that, of course I didn't have because I no longer have cable and the ones that were locally on NBC well I didn't have an antenna so I missed out and I don't know about you guys but I kinda missed the day some of you are actually most of you are probably too young to really remember this but I remember when I was young the Olympics had true amateurs um, you know, you didn't have the NBA players playing. You didn't have, you know, all the so-called professional. Uh, now, you know, you're going to argue, but if I guy, the other countries, they have professionals playing. Yeah, uh, you know, I understand that. But their sporting structure is a whole lot different over there than over here. Uh, you know, a lot of them, if they seemingly have the skill set for a particular sport then they're put out into academies oh there we go we've got some diorite here good another bit of variety for the supplies but uh you know they're put in the sports academies where you know they learn the normal school stuff but they also train in their sport non-stop we really don't have anything like that here and I can understand the people that say, well, you know, it evens the competition. But keep in mind, too, that a lot of these countries are smaller than ours and have a lot less population to draw from. 
Yeah, you've got com you've got countries like Russia and China that obviously have huge numbers of people and you know have the athletes athletic pool to draw from but then you have these small countries that don't really have that big of a population so those elite athletes are a lot fewer and far between and in those cases you know it's it's I don't know if it's fair for us to bring in our professionals and quite honestly it's kind of boring watching our teams win by 20 30 points and just absolutely dominate aha that is the sound I was hoping for that means we have a cave nearby and that'll be good so that'll kind of go with what I'm trying to do with the whole uh, big huge house overlooking the city and then the big time underground bunker and maybe this can kind of be like the bat cave once we find it hopefully we'll find it soon and I'll start digging around a little bit here in a minute either side oh is that granite no dirt What's dirt doing down this far I'm sorry, this is probably dark for you guys. Let's light that up a little bit. But again, you know, I, I just didn't want to... You know, the Olympics, they're cool, and I love some of the events. But, I don't know, It's just it was really hard to get excited over it. Um, you know, you had the big controversy with the Zika virus and the conditions that were down there and honestly and this is kind of the same way with the World Cup these big huge events that occur every four years you've got countries that really don't have the resources available to to put into an event like this you know you consider all these structures that are built specifically for these events um, the Olympics more so than the World Cup even you know you've got all these specialized arenas and competition centers and the Olympics is here for two weeks and then what happens you know you see all these pictures of the internet oh, all right here's our cave good 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 whoa 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 okay 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 chill chill um yeah let's uh run through here real quick and throw some light down all right there's some iron good stuff oh come on come on there we go some more iron awesome 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 okay that's lit up well enough. Uh, let's eat a little something. But going back to what I was saying, you've got all these specialized arenas and and that mess. And after two weeks, what happens? Everyone goes home, and you've got these giant structures, arenas, stadiums, what have you. That you know, for the most cases, they just don't get used anymore. And these things cost millions upon millions upon millions of dollars to build. So you've got these countries that, you know, especially in the case of Brazil, they had all sorts of economic issues uh, shortly after they were awarded the games. And, you know, you hear these stories where the police are basically saying, we can't keep you safe. Because they can't afford to pay us. Oh my gosh, where do you guys... Alright, go ahead, blow up. Come on. Are you kidding me? Stop! Well, at least you're helping me get some materials. Alright, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, what is going on with you guys? Creeper City here. Okay. Wow. 
here in Enderman. Let's see. Let me get this lit up. And then, oh, there's an Enderman. Not a whole lot as far as resources go, but I don't think we're all that deep. So, we're definitely not near diamond level. Let's see where we are. Oh, yeah, we got a ways to go. Um, let's not look at you. Kind of got beat up. All right, yeah, we're... We got another 10, 12 levels to go before we have to worry about diamond. There's another creeper. Oh my gosh. Let's uh, go ahead and let you blow up. Uh, preferably not in my face. Like that. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. This is getting a little ridiculous now. Um, I wonder if there is a spawner over there. Come on. There we go. I'm almost out of torches. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Stop it. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Out of torches. Alright. So, what I am going to do is I... Uh, we probably need to light that up there as well. Uh, where are you coming from there, buddy? Uh-uh. No, no. We're not playing that game. Okay. So, these skeletons have fire arrows. Not good. Okay, we've got a little bit of material here to gather. And, of course, I ran right by the exit. Did it? Did I? Of course I did. Alright. What I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. Let me, uh... In a good spot here. There we go. Oh, I bet you that hurts. But I am going to uh, get some of the materials out of here, clear out some space. Oh, no, 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 no! Seriously. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need to go ahead and close this out because these creepers are coming for me big time. So uh, I will go ahead and get the resources out of here and get some more things set up, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.